আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহ এখন আমরা হিস্ট্রি অফ ভাইরোলজি একটা শর্ট লেকচার নেব আমাদের দেশে যে কোনো সাবজেক্টের হিস্ট্রিটা আমরা খুব অবহেলা করি কিন্তু হিস্ট্রিটা খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট সেজন্য হিস্ট্রি অফ ভাইরোলজি হিস্ট্রি অফ ভাইরোলজি এই লেকচারটা ডক্টর নুসরাত এবং নাসমু সাকিব কে অ্যাসাইনমেন্ট দেওয়া হয়েছিল যখন তারা এম ফিল পার্ট টু এর স্টুডেন্ট এবং তার উপর বিশেষ করে এটা নেওয়া আমরা মনে করি ভাইরাল ডিজিজেস আর ভেরি নিউ কিন্তু আসলে তা না ভাইরাল ডিজিজেস আর ভেরি ওল্ড অ্যান্ড থ্রি থাউজেন্ড সেভেন হান্ড্রেড বিসি বিফোর দ্য বার্থ অফ ক্রিস্ট দ্যার ওয়াজ এভিডেন্স অফ ইজিপশিয়ান মামি showing typical clinical signs of paralytic poliomyelitis and 11,143 BC uh, <clears throat> the preserved mummy shows that he died of smallpox at age of 35 the year 1000 BC smallpox was endemic in china and practice of variolation was developed variolation means inhalation of dried casts from smallpox lesions or in later modifications inoculation of these pus from a lesion into a scratch on the forearm of the child similar practice was observed in turkish in the year 1520 smallpox had reached europe from the east in 710 after the death of christ and then transferred to america and by hernando cortes and about 35 lakh people died in the next two years during the period of 1717 to 796 history of smallpox and vaccination. Uh, Lady Mary Montego, not a scientist, but a keen observer, he or she observed that uh, women of Turkish inoculating their children against the smallpox. Same thing in 18th century, Edward Jenner observed and studied Miss Sarah Nims, a milkmaid who had previously caught small cowpox and was subsequently found to be immune to smallpox, a similar <clears throat> but devastating virus. So on 14th May 1796, Edward Jenner used cowpox infected material obtained from the hand of Sarah Names, a milkmaid from his village, to successfully vaccinate eight year old James Phipps and James P. on July 1796, Jenner challenged this boy by deliberately inoculating him with material from a real case of smallpox and he did not become infected. So this is the history of vaccination. So Jenner developed the first vaccine based on these findings and without knowing the virus itself. A smallpox is currently eradicated from the world war. So, <clears throat> although initially controversial, vaccination against the smallpox almost universally adopted worldwide during the 19th century. But in the initial period, it was much criticized. However, it was not until Robert Koch and Louis Pasteur jointly proposed the germ theory of disease in the 1880s that the significance of these organisms become apparent. Robert Koch is considered to be father of medical microbiology and Louis Pasteur, father of modern microbiology. Robert Koch was a physician and Louis Pasteur was a chemist. During the year 1815 to 1899, in the late 19th century, Charles Chamberlain developed a porcelain filter. This filter was used to study the first documented virus, tobacco mosaic virus. And Damitri Ivanovsky published experiments showing that 
crushed leaf extracts of infected tobacco plants were still infectious after filtering bacteria from the solution. So, <clears throat> at the same time, several others documented filtrable disease causing agents with several independent, in, independent experiments showing that viruses were different from bacteria and yet they could also cause disease in living organisms. These experiments showed that viruses are smaller than the bacteria and the term virus was coined by Dutch microbiologist Martinus Bejernik. Martinus Bejernik. During the period 1900 to 1950, in 1900, Walter Reed demonstrated that yellow fever was caused by virus and spread by mosquitoes. In the early 20th century, Frederick Tort discovered that bacteria could be attacked by virus, that is bacteriophages. And Felix D. Herley, working independently, showed that the preparation of viruses caused areas of cellular death on thin cell culture spread on agar. So counting the dead numbers of virus, which is an estimate of the original number. An invention of electron microscopy provided the first look at viruses. And in 1935, Wendell Stanley crystallized tobacco mosaic virus and found it to be mostly protein. And a short time later, the virus was separated into protein and nucleic acid, as we know today. Notable persons and their contribution to the science of virology, Walter Reed. Walter Reed, he demonstrated the yellow fever virus, was, yellow fever was caused by the virus and spread by mosquitoes. Carl Landsteiner and Erwin Popper proved that poliomyelitis was caused by virus. Francis Peton Rouse demonstrated that <clears throat> virus can cause cancer in chickens and he got Nobel Prize in 1966 and the virus is named as Rouse sarcoma virus. And Rouse is the first person to show that a virus could cause cancer in animals. Felix D. Herely, he also independently showed the discovery of the bacterial fast. And we, we say it before, Wendell Stanley, he crystallizes the tobacco mosaic virus and shows that it remains infectious. And he got Nobel Prize in 1946. Max Thiller was the first to propagate yellow fever virus in cheek embryo and successfully produce attenuated vaccine. He got Nobel Prize in 1951. In the year 1941, George Hust demonstrated that influenza virus agglutinates red blood cells. This was the first rapid quantitative method of measuring viruses. <clears throat> in the year 1949, John Enders, Thomas Weller, Frederick Robbins were able to grow poliovirus in vitro using human tissue culture, and they got Nobel Prize in 1954. And this development led to isolation of many new viruses in tissue culture. In 1950, World Health Organization proposed a program to eradicate a smallpox from the America this was achieved in eight years. <clears throat> in 1952, Renato Dolbeco showed that animal viruses can form plagues in a similar way to bacteriophages. And he got Nobel Prize in 1975. And Dolbeco's work allowed the rapid quantification of quantitation of animal viruses. In the year 1957, Alec Isaac and Jean Lindemann discovered interferon, which interferes with the replication of viruses. And initial hopes for interferon was broad spectrum antiviral agents equivalent to antibiotics have faded. 
Now interferons were the first cytokines to be studied in detail and used in the treatment of many disease, viral diseases. Bloomberg discovers hepatitis B virus and Bloomberg went to develop the first vaccine against hepatitis B virus and considered the, by some to be the first vaccine against cancer because of strong association of hepatitis B with liver cancer. Howard Temin and David Baltimore independently discovered the reverse transcriptase in retroviruses. They got Nobel Prize in 1975. Discovery of reverse transcription established a pathway from genetic information flow from RNA to DNA. In the year 1973, Peter Doherty and Rolf Jinkarnak demonstrated the basis of antigenic recognition by the cellular immune system. They got Nobel Prize in 1996 and they established the cellular immune system, predominant role of cellular immune system in to cope the viral infection. In the year 1976, Michael Bishop and Harold Harmas discovered that Rouse sarcomavirus is also found in the cells of normal animal, including humans. They got Nobel Prize in 1989. In 1983, Locke Montagnard and Robert Gallo announced the discovery of human immunodeficiency virus. And in only two years, the start of AIDS epidemic that is as responsible have been identified. In the so milestones of virology in short, first written record of virus infections found in Egypt mummies and China. They discovered the protection from a smallpox using variolation practice. In 1796, vaccination uh, was start was discovered by Edward Jenner. And 1880 germ theory by Robert Koch and Louis Pasteur. And 1892 was the beginning of virology by Damitri Ivanovsky, showed that ceramic filtered extracts from disease plants could transmit the virus disease. In 1892, Martinus Bezek also worked on tobacco mosaic virus. And in 1999, Landesteiner and Popper was the first well, described poliomyelitis and fever, first human disease to be recognized as viral disease. In 1915 and 27, bacteriophages were discovered by Frederick Todd and Felix D. Harley. And during 1950 to 2003, discoveries of Ebola, West Nile, HIV, SARS, and many other viruses. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot for patient sharing.